took a clonazepam and a cola. That's how I medicate myself. Clonazepam is doctor advised medication, although for my own good and this is actually my desire, I'll be asked to stop taking after some time. And I'm afraid at this point, I'm going to have to tune this guitar, I'm afraid at this point um, when I am asked to cut back or whatever, there's going to be a part of me that wants to fight it, that wants to say I feel good at this level and I had a fight with my dad yesterday uh, but other than that I've been feeling better and um, the reason I feel better is because of the clonazepam among my other medications. Um, well, I don't know. Um, I've had insomnia for a number of days, and uh, I don't know. I, I, I forget who I said this to. I, I think it was Melissa. I told her I had insomnia, and she said, well, you don't have the medical definition of insomnia. Maybe it was one of my parents, but just the fact that I wasn't getting enough sleep that I was not getting enough sleep. There we go. Okay. So the fact that I was not getting enough sleep, I called that insomnia, even though it may not be the legal definition or whatever. Basically, I was underslept, and I had a full night's sleep uh, last night, and I hope to have one again tonight. And I don't know how long my doctors are going to tell me, it's okay Ben, you're allowed to have a full night's sleep and feel well rested. Uh, I don't know how long they're going to let me stay at that before they say start cutting back on the quantum. And of course they already told me to cut, cut back, and I did cut back. Cut back. Um, and uh, it was so hellish that my doctor said, stop cutting back, take as much as you want. Uh, so the whole thing's a nightmare, but I feel good, is my point. Oh man, this is over too. Okay, so E, A, D, someone mentioned to me that they noticed I said in a video that I don't know what each of the notes are named, each of the strings, so I should start making an effort to know that. So. E, A, D, wait, yeah, D, we went to A for some reason, G, G, I don't know if the camera picked it up, and it's doing it less these days, but uh, the guitar makes like a crinkle, and I've noticed when it crinkles it means boom, you're on key. How have I been playing for so long?
with it this much out of tune. Mm. Like, this is majorly out of tune. Okay, yeah, sorry if that was boring. Um, I record everything. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it has been a long time since I tuned it, so... Yeah, it's good that I did that. Uh, da -da. Muscle memory and uh, so, so on. The sensation of afternoon in a long, long time, <laughs> and it's like, 
I, okay, I took a pill, but, um, yeah, it's weird.
and something he told me, uh, my friend, uh, he told me, with the reverb, the sustain, I explained this in the last video. Anyway, so if you're having the distortion turned up with the open chord notes, uh, you're going to have leftover noise uh, going into the next note, and it's just going to build up all this leftover noise. Um, so yeah, so uh, the solution to that, I think he said there was a few ones, but a simple one is just to mute it. Um, so if I'm going like That, that that leftover buzzy sound, that's just going to stay there, even if you play a different note. So what you do, so, so let me show you um, how this is a problem. significance of why B and F are a thing and they're kind of like kept out of the club. Sixers in the 80s, so I could legitimately talk about the 80s. You were alive in the 80s and it didn't seem like all weird and creepy and cocaine filled um, like how the 80s seems now. But the actual 80s, uh, it's, that's what I'm talking about. Um,
So I just uh, haven't even memorized all the patterns here. <laughs> like my computer is making a constant noise right now and I have a smoke remover uh, it sucks up the cigarette smoke in the room making noise uh, forget about it who cares all the officers are such bullshit <laughs> 